What's going on, y'all? Back with another video today. Today we're going to be exploring FL Cloud. So it's kind of like Splice, I would say. Um, it's now implemented in FL where you can download sounds and packs and stuff like that. It's like one of their new features came out with like one of the recent updates. So uh, I've, I've messed with it a little bit. I signed up for the subscription. I think it may be maybe, I want to say maybe $8 a month. Don't quote me on that. Um, go check it out for yourself. See how much it costs. But I definitely signed up and uh, subscribed. So let's explore it, man. Let's check it out. So to get to it, you want to click the cloud right here. Obviously, right? FL Cloud. Let's give it a little time to load. Well, one thing I noticed you could do is you go right here to get that double arrow with the two lines in the middle. And you could drag it out some, which I think is kind of cool. So you could kind of explore it like a web browser. And then once you get what you need, you know, you could drag it right back. So let's let's drag it out like this so we can really, you know, dig deep into it. Cool. So got packed sounds. We under discover right now. One thing I seen for sure that I was looking at was the was the murder beats was the murder beats pack. So I think if I go to packs right here, yeah, I want to check this out first. So let's preview this. Let's preview some of the Murder Beast kits. Like I said, it's kind of like Splice. Everybody know Murder Beast got uh, drum kits on Splice. So it's kind of cool how, like I said, they got everything implemented in the FL now to where you don't even really have to leave FL Studio. So let's check out some of the sound. Kick. Dope Chris sounds, like always, from him. 808. Hat. Okay, Melody. And correct me if I'm wrong, but I think it's automatically already synced to the tempo of the project, which is also cool. So when you preview and stuff, it'll already be previewed in like the same tempo of the track. Like say you already got some some of your beat laid down, then you preview in a vocal or something like that, it'll already be to the same tempo, which I think is cool. But this is cool. And you come down here and you can change the key. That's cool as well, man. I don't think every every uh you know service like this offers that, especially when you already in your DAW and you already got your track laid out to a certain key and you're trying to add something extra and you can just preview it in the right key. That's cool, man. I like that. Let's see, let's see what else they got. Let's let's try to speed up the tempo. Yeah, see, so it matches the project tempo. Slow it down. Yeah, see, that's dope. That make it worth it to me. Since you already got splice, it's like you gotta stand out some kind of way. That make it worth using this. Makes it easier to add stuff to your project. Like, that's already ready. Oh, you see I downloaded this one, I used this one, so. Let me just show you guys, let me see. Like this song starter. If you wanted to, you just hit this plus. You can either favorite it if you, if you like it. You wanna come back to it, you hit this plus to download it. Now that it's downloaded, you can just drag it right into the piano roll. If I'm not mistaken, let's see, let me try again. There we go. Drag it right into the piano roll. So yeah, that's cool, man. You can drag it to the piano roll or the or the playlist. You know, however you want to do it. Let's stop that. Yeah, that's dope. I mean, make it real simple for you. And it's already within FL. So 
Yeah, this is cool. This murder beats kit. Let's see what else they got out there. Let's see what else they got. Discover. Mm, let's go to Juicy Guitars. Once again, you can change the key if you got a favorite key. It already tell you the BPM of everything. But like I said, it syncs to whatever BPM that your project is in. So that's cool. It tell you how many sounds in the pack. Look like you can hear shuffle right here. Shuffle the sounds. So you're not using the same, you know, running into the same sounds every time. I like the favorite. Yeah, that's hard. This one, a little sound. Okay, so that's dope. Let's see what let's see what else they got. It's got a hard trap. Okay, got some got some trap sounds. Let's switch the key up. Hats. Vocals, switch the key. So you could you could grab vocals from here if you need some. It's cool, man. I like it. I think it's a good idea. And there's nothing wrong with competition. It, ma it makes everything better. Let's see, let's see. These are some packs. Ninth Wonder Pack. Let's see what he got. Y'all already know Ninth Wonder the Legend. So I'm interested to see what other producers is gonna come on here and have a pack. That's what I'm interested to see. Cause it'd be dope if we could get a, of course, like a Metro pack or Southside or, you know, Boy Wonder, Sunny Digital, kind of like Splice, you know, I'm going off of Splice packs. Maybe Wonder Girl pack. Yeah, that is dope. Get some vocals. Yeah, I like that. Let's go back to the pack. They got the genre and the label. What's the label? Okay, they got different labels on there. I guess this is how you label what type of sounds you're looking for. I get it. Okay. And genre. You got hip hop R and B. Let's hit stop on that. So you could you could you could categorize it by genre. So if you're looking for hip hop R and B, it's gonna pull up all the hip hop R and B packs. Okay. 
Let's, let's try to uh, discover something different. Let's go to House Techno. See if we want to make something like a... Like, honestly, never mind, you know? Like, Drake, honestly, never mind. Let's see what they got. It's an answer favorite song. She was always happy. Cleaning okay, dishes every day. And that's she the thing, guys. This stuff is label house she techno. Knows, she knows. But there's no Once rules. It's That's just how they categorize in the sounds. But you can use it for trap. You know, hip-hop is a genre that borrows anyway. So you guys can use this for hip-hop, trap, R&B. If it sounds good. If you think it sounds good. So keep that in mind. It's an answer favorite song. She was always happy. Another thing is cleaning dishes every day. Sometimes I like to explore different genres. So whether it's like dance hall, or you know, like UK drill music or um even like house. I like or R and B, you know, if I'm just doing hip hop or trap all the time. I like to explore different genres because I feel like it, it makes you a better producer once you learn how they produce their tracks in different ways and then you could take it back to the genre that you pre used to producing in and you could take some of their stuff and basically treat it like a sample like you you learn what they do over there you can bring it back to hip-hop and now you you know now you mixing them now you blending the genres so, baby, and then baby, they, then you just learn different ways of producing I've like been that alone and waited for you all night second Guessing it's never made me in every word seems to be about her life. Waiting for you like a rain in summer day. I would miss you like I never miss you. I like this song. Well, Try a different key. Me you don't want to go away. Cause I can live without your la la love and pretty face. So I think this is all vocal. Let's see what else, let's see what else they got. You got right here, Deep House. That's that was a pop pack. This is Deep House. So any of my house producers on here, Deep House producers, trap producers, hip hop producers, R and B producers, y'all come check this out. So if you want to experiment, you could build. You know, you could build your track right here without even knowing. Say you got a different artist, you know, that you got a different artist. They like house music. You're, you're a trap producer. You can come cook up some beats for them right here. Here go a melody right here. Here go the drums. What's stopping you from putting them together? Then you're a producer, so I know you know how to add your own sauce on top of it. You gonna make sure it sounds good. That's what producers do. But yeah, as I guess that's my rant, just about different genres. Well, I wouldn't even say rant, just rambling, preaching. Go to drums. Yeah, man, it's dope. If you if you if you wanted to make some house music or you know didn't know how, you come here and see how to how they build it out, how they do each instrument. Right in FL Studio. You want to borrow some vocals? You can do that. You can turn that into a trap beat. Yeah, overall, man, it seems pretty dope. I might have to start actually using it more. Haven't been using it as much. I probably made a couple beats with it, two or three. But I definitely want to start using it more, man. Let me know. Let me know what y'all think in the comments about FL Cloud. Tell me if you like it better than Splice, or or if you like Splice better. Let me know what you think. Or if or another one, I know they got Loop Cloud. I know there's other other services like that. So let me know what you think. Um, here we go. I seen a top ten somewhere. Here you go. So they have a top ten as well. So if you if you're just trying to start out and don't know where to start, 
you come to this top 10 list right here. You got Murder Beats, ninth one to number one and two. So yeah, that's a good place to start. Then you could filter this by the genre. House techno top 10, hip hop R&B top 10. Cinematic, EDM pop. Yeah, they got a little bit for everybody. Electronic, global. Here we go, reggaeton. Live music. Bass music. Yeah, man, that's dope. FL Cloud is it's nice to me. It's nice. You got Discovery, you got Sounds. So I guess you can search by Sounds. So I guess maybe you want to do Kick. Yeah. It'll pull up Kicks. Then we in Techno. You can take that off. Have all the Kicks. But then you can pick your genre, Hip Hop. Just Hip Hop. Now you got Murder Beat stuff and other people kick Hip Hop Kicks. Search the packs. Yeah, so it's cool, man. I definitely like it. I definitely like it. That's my subscription. I definitely like it, man. Uh, let me know what you guys think about it. Let me know if you like it and if you're going to use it or not. If you're going to get the subscription. Like I said, you can pull that back to the side. Then you're back to normal. I think they make this, make this a little bigger, too, when you click on the cloud. When you go to other stuff, see how it gets smaller. When you click on the cloud, it automatically gets bigger. So, yeah, let me know what y'all think. I'm going to definitely start using it more and let you guys know what I think about it. But, yeah, man, that's FL Cloud. That's all I got for you guys today, man. If you made it this far, like the video. Comment. Let me know what you think and what, what uh, services you using. And, yeah, I'll see you guys next time, man. Till next time, signing out.